tell you, today we have a chipper workout, that means more than three movements. We're going to go through two rounds of 20 strict toss to bar, 40 Russian kettlebell swings, 40 box jumps, and 8 bell bite for men, 55 for women. If you're on our fitness program, and if you choose our performance program, it's also two rounds, 40 kettlebell swings, American, that means all the way overhead, 32 for men, 24 for women, 40 box jumps, 40 toes to bar, and that's an 80 kel bite, 55 for women. What you're going to need for the first part of the warm up is a plate, and you can also grab a big blue or red band for the second part of the warm up. Go grab it, go to your station, then I'll see you for the first part of the warm up. All right. So we need to get through the warm up uh, at a good pace today because we have uh, a little bit longer workout, 25 minute cap. So first we're going to move for four minutes for quality. We're going to do 10 plate row to overheads, 15 ring rows, and 20 plate hops. So for a plate row to overhead, grab a plate, place it on the ground like so, set your hips back while you keep your chest up, Explode up, flip the plate, bring it overhead. Keep it close as you go down, keep the chest up, make sure to use the hips and the legs. After 10 reps, put it on the ground, you're going to do 15 ring rows. Okay, go all the way down. Make sure there's no assault bike behind you. Go back, pull, back, and pull. After 15 reps, you're going to do 20 plate hops. Stand over your plate, jump on top of it, then jump off. Keep the hips and knees bent and we're trying to go as fast as possible. Do this for four minutes, then go to the second part of the warm up. Pause your phone now. All right, next part of the warm up is going to be two rounds, 12 banded dead bucks, 12 banded rows, and 12 bottom hops. So for a banded dead buck, set up your band, run the ball to Rick. Get tension on the band, chest up, belly button into the ground, one leg, return, other leg, return. 12 reps. Make sure to keep the lower back on the ground at all times. After that, keep the band around the pole, but make sure you hold it like this. Keep the chest up, shoulders low. Pull the elbow behind the body. 12 reps. After that, everybody's favorite warm up movement. Especially Marcos, the bottom hop. Start in a high plank, pull your feet under you. Jump back, 12 reps, two rounds. Watch your video, get warmer. All right, guys, so now you're going to go through all the movements for your workout. Okay, so for the fitness program, you're going to warm up with a couple reps of the strict toes to bar, a couple reps of the Russian kettlebell swing, and a couple reps of the box jump, right? So first up, strict toes to bar. Hang from the bar, lift your legs until your toes touch the bar. To scale this, lift your legs as high as you can, or lift your knees. For the toes to bar, we go higher rep and we go higher intensity, higher skill by doing a kip. You can scale this movement by kipping up with the leg straight but not as high or by doing kipping knee raises. I'll show you each one. For 
we're just keeping movement. You hang from the bar, you pull the shoulders down, you push down onto the bar, so you're activating control to swing with the shoulders and you'll follow through with the legs. For more coaching, go to the coach that is actually here. For the Russian kettlebell swing, keep that core engaged, let the hip do the work, fire the hip, and when you're at shoulder high, pull the kettlebell back. To scale this, adjust the, the weight or adjust the volume. The same option is there for the toes to bar to do less reps. Then the box jump, you're going to send your hips back, swing your arms up. Jump on the box. Stand up, step down, repeat. You can scale by lowering the box or doing less reps. Then a soul bike, sit on the saddle, push, pedal, pull until you complete 80 reps. If 80 reps for men or 55 for women, uh, it's too high of a number for you to reach the required intensity. Then ask your coach for a lower number like 79 or 78. Cool. For the performance workout, we have the same kettlebell swing, but we go overhead, same scaling option supply. We have the box jump, same scaling option supply. Soul bike, you guessed it, same option supply. Once you've done a couple reps of everything, make a game plan, which in this case should be how to break everything up in such a way that you get through as fast as possible with minimizing the amount of rest you need. Then have fun. Set your time for 25 minutes and make sure that you keep the end time of your class also inside. See you at the cool down. So if you have time left, you can do the finisher. It's three to five rounds of 10 reps of the core position crunch in each position and 20 arch rocks after each set. So for the core position crunch, you to lay down, first position, still the knees, 10 reps. Then, feet on the ground, Touch the knees, feet off the ground, touch the feet, feet in the air, touch the laces. After 10 reps in each position, do 20 arch rocks, arch body position, rock. If you cannot do this yet, either do an arch hold or Superman. All right, for the cool down, you're going to roll your glutes. You're going to take a lacrosse ball or a foam roller, you're going to sit down on the ground, bring one foot on top of your knee, the ball or foam roller goes below this butt cheek, and you're going to roll around, hunting for sensitive spots. Find one, hang out there. Maybe just sit on it until the pressure release or roll around a little bit. So thank you so much again for training with us. I hope you enjoyed this one. See you at the next one. Don't forget to like the score beyond the white part.